Good morning, y'all. It's LA Appliance Guy. How's everybody doing? Look at this. Z-Line drawer. High dollar microwave. One of our service techs brought me this thing and said, hey, you want to play with this? I said, yeah. So let's see what it does. Look at that. Beauty. Let's see what we can find out. I've never worked on one of these. It's going to be like one of those little exploratory type things. Wow. Okay. So is this the clock or something? Oh my goodness. It's motorized. Uh oh. It don't like something. Maybe it's because it's on an angle or something. We might need to get it inside and on a flat surface. Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Okay, so what is this? Where can I set the clock? Clock. Okay. It is about 1.13. Okay, no, no. Oh, wait. This thing's too smart for LA Appliance Guy. Oh, that's timer. All right, this is too much. <laughs> All right, let's see if it cooks. Oh, what you doing to that cooking machine, huh? We're fixing it so we could heat some food, some pizza. <laughs> My guess is this doohickey means clock. Okay, let's put some water in it. All right. I don't even know how to work it. Start, 30 seconds. Ooh, it kind of has a little, kind of has a magnetron hum to it. I might need to find the, the, the manual on this thing. But yeah, sometimes when you hear a weird vibration or loud hum, it's a magnetron. Yeah, it's cold. Okay, we gotta try and get in this thing. Cool. Close. <laughs> Hundred thousand Phillips. microwaves have a hundred thousand screws in them so that's nothing new that did nothing it's down there there's the baby I guess I better unplug it door latches neato is that where the magnetron is? Wow. Isn't that something? Transformer magnetron. There's the capacitor. Okay, so everybody kind of knows what a microwave sounds like when it's heating. When you get that louder hum, it's almost 99% of the time the magnetron. Um, so one way to find out is to get to it and just unplug the magnetron, let the wires hang, and then see if you get that noise again when you run it. Usually you won't because it's usually always the mag. Every now and then it's a high voltage transformer or capacitor. Ooh. 
Okay. Well, that was easy enough. Go from the back. Wow. And just like a normal microwave. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. About twenty-six, twenty-seven screws. <laughs> okay. Fun. Cool. Oh, there it is. Magnetron is toasted. Come on, stupid lock. There we go. All right, let's see what she reads. Hmm, technically she's reading good. All right, so just here unscrewing this little metal shield here. It's probably just to direct the airflow through the fins of the magnetron there. See what I mean? How it's cooked on the top side? That's what it's supposed to look like. That's not what it's supposed to look like right there. So like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a $50 microwave or a $2,000 microwave. They're all kind of built the same, set up the same. They all have just different features, um, different buttons, different boards. But this magnetron, the capacitor, the diode, the high voltage transformer, they're all basically the same. Not much difference. I'm sure they probably want an arm and a leg for this thing, but we have some aftermarkets we've been using that work pretty good. There's just a few differences with them. You have to get the fins facing the right direction, the cooling fins, and the mount right. And they're all about the same. You just want to be careful when you're working on these things. Make sure you unplug it for a while and let the capacitors discharge and all that good stuff. Fins are loose. It's cooked. She got home. July 2023, MWD1SSH. Cool. Neat. Wow, I'm actually quite shocked. This thing's only 140 bucks. I was expecting, I mean, a couple hundred. So, I mean, it is a thousand dollar microwave. But hey, let's see if we got one that'll fit. Well, would you look at that? I'm not sure. I don't know if this day one will work, but it's made in Korea and this one is made in China. So, but as long as the mounts are the same, the cooling fins face the right direction and the plug will work, we should be good. Let's give it a go. Another thing they all have in common is it's very sharp and very tight in here. So watch your hands and your fingers. Uh, I'm sure I'll get cut in just a second, but here I'm just mounting this used magnetron up and then we'll see if we get some heat and we'll see if we get that noise again. I bet you we don't. And I really appreciate everybody liking and subscribing and watching. Uh, I've never worked on a Z-Line. As you can tell, this is just kind of an exploratory type video. All right. Ooh, boop. Ooh, boop. And the shield. Oh man, is the shield gonna... Oh no. It's a little smaller. 
This Magnetron is a little smaller in size, so this little air chute, I'm just gonna kind of zip it to it. All it does is direct the air. It'll be all right. Let's see what it does now. Let's shoot some fire. Like I said, I ain't never worked on any, oh, one of them's done. Never worked on one of these. Whoa, I'm about to lose it. <laughs> okay, that was scary. Hold tight. Well, I almost lost that baby. Okay, let's cook something. See what I mean? It sounds normal. I bet we're cooking. Z line. It's too fancy for me, man. What? It doesn't open automatically? <sniffs> Send it back. Ooh, that's hot. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, we boiling. Let's see. Okay, it's not boiling. Maybe we should boil. One moment. We steaming. We steaming. It's just simple things. Pretty nice unit, I have to say. I like it. Seems well built and not overdone. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, so that might be the deal breaker. So we don't really sell many microwaves at the shop, you know. Very rarely do we get them in and they're worth fixing. But this is a $1,200, $1,000 microwave, so throwing a magnetron on and wiping it down, maybe somebody might want it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's very hard to install. Um, two screws on each side. And yes, more screws. <laughs> At least they're all Phillips and not Torx. I guess it could be worse. Some micro microwaves have a mixture of Torx and Phillips all the way around. Top, bottom, sides, everywhere. Haha, <laughs> no extra screws. All right. There we go. This is why I can't have this. And we made it to the end of the video and you know what that means. On this Z line, Magnetron. That's new for me. Uh, I've never worked on one of these before, as you can tell. So the key word today is so friggin' cool. So cool. I love it. I would break the motor if it was in my house. I would break it. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, See you tomorrow. Later. You rock. I think I would have to figure out a way to get rid of the beep when the door opened. <laughs> it's annoying. Thank y'all. Have a great day.